launching up the burn throttle on the Rageaholic's downfall of video game journalism series. Today's subject is the long-awaited decapitation of a universally reviled fraudulence foundry, the only journalistic website for whom the word alleged is perpetually implied. I refer, of course, to Kotaku.com. Now, if IGN's heel goes the way of Achilles only at the side of cold hard implied advertising cash, Kotaku doesn't even get weak in the knees until it's time to flat out fucking lie. I can't count on both hands, both feet, and each individual skin cell in my body just how many times Kotaku has been caught lying through the hole in their journalistic credentials. Kotaku is to dishonesty what France is to cowardice. This site prints more attractions than Disney's Wolverine. A process that's made said corrections so fucking in commonplace, they're even cross-reported by the competition as actual fucking news stories. I mean, remember when Gotaku printed the It's Time to Start Worrying About Thief 4 article? Yeah? You remember how not five fucking months later Thief 4 is revealed? Oops! Top-notch stuff, Kotaku. Kotaku alleged that because the game had lost and promptly replaced seven fucking people over the course of four goddamn years, the game had somehow suffered more impediment than the irate gamer's speech patterns. I mean, what, seven people on a team of over 80 over a four-year fucking period? I mean, what the cunt? Metal Gear Rising had to be rebuilt from the ground up and handed from one studio to the next at Hideo Kojima's direct and dissatisfied insistence. So where the addle-brain fuck was the It's Time to Start Worrying About Metal Gear Rising article? And for fuck's sake, the game's title had a made-up fucking word in it! And not a made-up word like Morrowind, a, a made-up word like Refudiate or fucking Strategery. I mean, what the fuck, did the new G-Taste hentai figurines with the removable clothing get a second printing that week? Was it all too much to ask that you languid fucking pervs just briefly emerge from your Ramone stupor, disengage your cocktail sausage fingers from around your dainty crank, turn your fucking bloodshot gaze from the endless parade of fornicating adolescent animals who waits for five fucking seconds and actually report a motherfucking news story? Which brings me, of course, to Kotaku's self-evident Nihongophilia, specifically the fact that it's explicitly at odds with their pretense to journalistic credulity. I mean, in October of 2012, this is a site that outright refused to cover the Robert Florence Eurogamer.net outright journalistic censorship scandal, cowering behind just wafer-thin principle in the process by remarking that it was and I quote, an irrelevant story, and adding further that what's much more important is, and again I quote, doing good games journalism. But you know what Kotaku did have time to cover in October of 2012? Rageaholics? Do you see? At McDonald's in Japan, french fries are causing all sorts of chaos. Oh, tot de mono kawaii desu yo! Putting aside the fact that Gotaku's Japanese-centric mentality is lodged somewhere around the year 1990-fucking-eight, this is a site that time and again illustrates that its only demonstrable talent is the generation of eye-grabbing headlines with five sentences of unsourced text directly beneath, invariably concluded with a question mark. Kotaku, why in jiggling blue titties do you exist? Absolutely anyone on this planet can do what you do. Case in point, uh, headline, Halo 4 testicular cancer scare. Article, apparently the best friend of a guy who knows a guy who dated a girl once, who has a cousin, who once owned a Lamborghini that was once driven in the immediate vicinity of a Halo 4 demo kiosk is now contracted testicular cancer. Co coincidence? Yeah, cue the inevitable 789 replies, e each with a diabetic peppering of 4chan memes and the blindingly butt-fucking obvious, even as the true stars of the article, the advertisements, throb and sparkle and pulsate like a twilight vampire in the margins of the fucking page. This shit is more formulaic than CSI Miami. Kotaku is barely even a fucking news blog. At this point, they're merely a receptacle for the cross-linking of a mul full metric shitload of stories generated on other websites websites and seasoned with a briny blend of unmitigated rumor mongering. Even their original content, see anything at all having to do with every shift in the breeze on the Japanese mainland, is predominantly called from other often Japanese websites like Asahi.com or the Japan Times, sites that haven't formed their entire Japanese cultural analysis from years of cultivating cock blisters playing fucking Catherine or some shit, even when they aren't reporting news stories outnumbered two to one by their attractions, they also happen to be bad at being Nihongo vials. As someone who does speak Japanese and has been to 
Japan, I can tell you firsthand Kotaku's Japanese translations half the time are about as faithful as Jude Law after a box of wine coolers. Avoid this site! Just don't fucking go there! Kotaku is the punchline to the joke that is video game journalism. I'm Razor Fist. God fucking speed.